legendary investor Jim Rogers, nicknamed by many local media as the Commodities King, once believed raising a child to be a waste of time and money. However, after he had his first daughter at the age of 60, the investment guru recognized that children are the best investment you can make. The professor, traveler, and author moved to Singapore from New York last year so that his two daughters could learn Chinese, which he says is a necessity. I think the best skill which I can give to somebody born in those years is to be completely fluent in Mandarin and in things Chinese and in things Asian. So we have moved to Asia because I'm not just talking about all this, I'm, I'm living it, I'm doing it. Why did you um, move to uh, Singapore last year? Well, Singapore has many advantages, great health care, great, uh, great education, everything works in Singapore, and they have clean air. We love the Chinese cities, we love Hong Kong and Shanghai, and May we love these cities, but the air is just too horrible. I don't want to breathe that air, and I certainly don't want my wife and children breathing that air. Mm -hmm. What are the um, big, biggest challenge to China in the future? Well, the biggest China, in, in, the biggest uh, challenge, the biggest chi challenges to China are things like they have still have a lot of subsidies in China, which they need to eliminate, including the currency, which is which is too tightly controlled. Uh, that that's got to change before they can really become a, a great nation. And of course, they have the big water problem. I mean, if they don't solve the water problem, there is no China story. India has a worse water problem, by the way, than China. But China's got to do something about its water problem, or it's the end of the story. So uh, back to about yourself, I know you married quite late and you have children, right? Uh, did you change your mind to work family and children's wedding? Oh yeah, no, no, China, children are great fun. I had never wanted to have children. I thought, I used to feel sorry for people who had children, but I was completely wrong. No question, these little girls are so much fun for me. I cannot get enough for them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No, no, children are fabulous. So are you happy with your life now? Oh, I'm extremely happy. We've just started a whole new life it's a great new adventure i've got children i've got a, I've, I've sold every my house in america and i've moved to uh moved to asia started a new life with a new family i mean it's it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. so 10 years later if i do the interview with you, with you again uh, what are you doing do you think maybe you travel around the world for the time no i doubt it when my little girls get older i want to drive around china with them because they will both speak uh, perfect mandarin so i want to see china with them and show them china maybe some other countries as well 10 years from now i presume we'll still be living in in asia so singapore probably uh, this is the future as far as i'm concerned one of my little girls will be 15 one will be 10. i'll have a teenage daughter <laughs> that will be my adventure i'm sure Yes, if you probably remember, teenage girls can be a lot of, a lot of fun or a lot of trouble. Ask me in ten years. I think that would be the biggest challenge and adventures you ever had. I am sure having a teen, two teenage daughters, I'm sure is going to be a, an adventure. Yes. You know, um, well, thank you very much for joining our program today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. His five-year-old daughter, Happy, and five-month-old daughter he calls Baby B, have a Chinese nanny and a Chinese teacher. Happy, who accompanied her father during the interview, can already speak fluent Protonghua.